good morning, good afternoon, good evening, however you found me. I'm just thankful that you're here with me today, our first Sunday of the month, and we're back to sewing with me. I'm going to use a pattern today, and the pattern, uh, a friend of mine had actually come over and needed some help with some sizing, and she had told me about this pattern, and I thought this would be a really fun pattern to use. And so I'm going to show it to you. It's a, a retro butterwork pattern, 1952. And I do have it in the larger size, uh, 16 through 22. And looking at the measurements on the back right here, according to this, the 22 is even too small for me. So what I have done is I have pulled out my pattern pieces. And what's neat is there's only three pattern pieces to this. Um, and I measured the pattern pieces. And even with measuring on a 5 eighths inch seam allowance, it looks to me like I'll, if I made the 22, I still have enough room to fit it. So uh, that's the nice thing is with these, um, measuring those things out to kind of see where you really fit. So um, it's kind of exciting. So I'm going to try it and pray that it works. Um, but I'm going to be making a Valentine's dress with this. And I'm going to follow the dress A. Do you see how it's the contrast? And that's what she had done. Oh, and it was so awesome, but I'm going to do the contrast. So the black is going to be this fun Valentine fabric. And it has all of these wonderful colors in it, so I'm very excited about that. And then the white part of the dress here, just it's just this front part, is going to be this nice, warm, buttery, it's, kind, it's not quite yellow, it's... Um, it's a light, I don't even know how to describe it, pale, it's like a pale butter, but it's not yellow, it's, I don't know how to describe it, but it's beautiful, and it goes very lovely with the gold that's on here, so it's a bit of a gold, I guess, maybe, I don't know, but it goes very nicely with these gold parts, it's not as shimmery as that, and that's nice, it's more of a matte, which is more at my alley, so, Thank you for joining me as I figure out how I'm going to make this work. So, time to get to cut.
Well, that dress was pretty fun and fairly simple to make. Uh, there's a few things that I would definitely change about it. Number one, you'll notice in the video of me twirling around, I pointed toward the front and I had measured this previously assuming it was going to fit around my girth if I cut it out at a 22 and the answer is no. <laughs> I'm definitely bigger than a 22 and so there's, but parts of it fit decently. Um, I chose to roll the hem in and I'm not, ex I mean, it's fine. I don't care. I don't like how low this goes here. And of course, I could take in more darts to um, help uh, so that gaping is not there. But I went ahead and I added um, a panel on each side to the front and also to the back so that I could still use some sort of button or clasp closure. And I found a really fun um, antique button that is has a red and goldness to it. And I love it. It's really cute. Um, I definitely have very pale legs, so I think this is a dress that, unless I want to blind people, I should probably wear a pair of pantyhose, but uh, it, I do love it. I love how cute it is. I think it would be great uh, for this season, and uh, so I do recommend trying this out. I think it's a fun one. Oh, I have a friend here, so I'll have to come back a little bit. I'm back, and I know I'm dressed different, and that you have seen me in lots of different outfits. For this video and for that I apologize. It's been um, a very, very busy week with a lot going on and I realized I couldn't get everything done in one day like I try to. So here I am. I was dressed earlier in my dress, which I love. Um, realized, I think I mentioned that um, I did have to extend it a little bit in the middle. Um, and I went ahead in the back so that I could still put those clasps because I really like the way it sat that way. There's a little bit of um, gaping um, or a little too much exposure, in my opinion, in the armpit for me. But that's, I could wear some um, a tank top underneath or something if I wanted to, to cover up my bra that was showing a little bit. But I really like that um, and I'll often probably pair it with a cardigan. Uh, a couple things, um, so I, so it's kind of nice to know what I could do a little bit differently to make it better. And I, I am losing weight, and so I'm hoping that that insert that I put in will be easily removed. Or I know it will be easily removed. But I love this pattern so much, and I showed it to my two adult daughters, and I've I've got this wonderful print that I love. I have it in. red and blue and what I love about this is I told my girls I said oh, I think that this would be so cute uh, this dress would be so cute in this and then I have this gingham as well so I'm going to be making uh, dresses for them and my two granddaughters, my two granddaughters will have the, the red strawberries as their dominant color. Um, my oldest daughter is going to have the blue strawberries. I need to find some more of this, um, this fabric. I don't have very much of it, so I don't think I can piece enough of it together to make <clears throat> the piece for my daughter, my younger daughter. Um, I have to go through and then the gingham will be the um, contrasting color I think. <laughs> uh, I also have these two fabrics that I love. I just love strawberries. I don't know that I'll use these. Um, I might for my dress, excuse me, so that I have something a little bit different than them. And then um, where did I put it? As I was going through my buttons for, for the dress today, I ran across these buttons and these buttons. So I'm super excited. Um, there are five strawberries in this one and there are three strawberries here. So I'm hoping that with whatever design I choose for my granddaughters, that um, we will be able to have um, a fun mix match of all of this fun, fun stuff. I'm really, 
really, really excited. It, it, again, it depends on how much I have this stuff. I might make a red gingham one for myself um, and then just keep the strawberries for them. I don't know, but I'm just loving it. Super excited, um, excited to make this dress again. But next month, we're going to switch it up. I mean, I'm gonna make another dress. I, I promise I'm not always gonna make dresses, uh, but I want to make another dress. Um, and I haven't decided yet. I know I have the fabric and it's a really fun plaid and I really love um, the 40s and 50s styles. Um, more of the 40s is where I lean and so it, it might be a 40s style dress. I'm not sure just yet, but I'm super excited to share that with you in March when I choose to do that. And then I think April I'm going to be moving to trousers, uh, which I'm very excited about that as well. I'm excited about all of these wonderful projects. So I will see you next week. I will be making Irish soda bread and uh, it's an old recipe I found that I have used and altered for our, our family and just very, very excited. So I will see you next week. Thank you for um, sticking around as I've quickly shown you me putting together this dress um, with very little footage of it, but hopefully you have enjoyed the pictures and have enjoyed the process nonetheless. Blessings to you and I will see you next week.